Volkswagen. Well, those things, Volkswagen, kind of, you know, sort of regular, like not too flat, reliable, sort of, that kind of thing. This is Ireland's leading family-owned oil company, the Maxor Group. Established in 1920, the McMullins offer a comprehensive range of oil and petroleum products to all sectors of the Irish market, through retail, commercial, home heat and lubricants. Today, throughout 32 counties, they operate one of the strongest networks of service stations. I'll give it a Beamer, BMW. I would compare with uh, like a good, uh, uh, reliable brand, maybe BMW or Mercedes, something like that. <laughs> uh, I suppose it has to be an Audi or a BMW or something like that now. Lovely, shiny, bright Toyota Corolla. Probably Toyota. Uh, something that's efficient. <laughs> and for some reason, um, I don't know, kind of green and clean springs to mind, so I suppose something that's one of those hybrid cars. BMW, absolutely. of this year's conference is connecting. We can provide you with the means to become as successful as possible, but collectively and individually, you are the ones who will really make the difference. Our aim is simply to facilitate you in this regard. We are still at the early stages of a long and arduous journey, but it is an exciting prospect. We want to be more collaborative by constantly learning more from you and by actively encouraging you in whatever way we can. We need to be outward looking and forward thinking. By harnessing our collective strengths to a greater degree of innovation and collaboration, we can make this good and, dare I say, old Irish company a great one. What's been going on in the last 20 months has been a phenomenal programme. We've invested 30 million when we total it up as we currently stand. That's in the expansion and reshaping and repositioning Maxwell uh, in Ireland. And that money has been spent in really three key areas, as you can see in the slide. Around about 15 million has gone into new site acquisitions. Just over 7.5 million has gone back into the refurbishment of our existing estate. We must keep moving forward and not get too far away from what we are good at. It's all about seizing the opportunity and using our strengths to make a point of difference. We decided to invest in a new system to help us manage this better and it's known as CRM. Now CRM, as a lot of you will know, stands for Customer Relationship Management. Now it's not an end in itself, it's fair to say. It's just a tool by which we aim to serve you better. 
So you asked for greater investment in marketing and we listened to your comments. That's why engaging the consumer is part of our growth strategy. For the first time, we can really say that we can directly communicate with the end consumer. We have their emails, we have their texts, and we can now get them interested in our new initiatives. Our summer festival sponsorships have proven popular, particularly with today's younger consumers. They help put our brand at the very heart of it. Congratulations on your success. You are the champions of forecourt convenience retailing. But more importantly, you're your champion in your community. You have made a difference and you're really standing out and you're raising the bar. The initial um, inspiration for this project came from a, a local lady in Tipperary called Jennifer Jones, who herself is um, a, a cancer sufferer and she felt that there was a crying need for a centre, a drop-in centre, for consolation for cancer sufferers and their families to be created more locally than Cork because it's a three-hour trip down, down to Cork. We were being um, you know, encouraged by Maxall to go into the heart of our community to see what kind of help we could be to it. So it was just, we were lucky that, that this project just happened to be the, the really right one for us. I think that no family or community is not affected by cancer. We all know somebody near to us who have, who have been sufferers. So um, the benefit that is going to be to, to the community in general, like going forward like to, for years and years, I hope, uh, and for so many people, I, I don't think it could be estimated. <laughs> Hello Pixie Heads, has anybody seen these two bodies? These what you have in this country, these people, the little Pixie Heads in them, uh, trying to run your country and doing the opposite with the pointy fingers and the knowledge in their heads in a, in a nation uh, where, where the, the people still find the Toblerone exotic, where you consider the corn and the cob a starter. Well, you destroyed your economy, it collapsed, it crumbled like a biscuit in Mary Harney's shoe. And then we came along and we found you um, scavenging in the bins of Europe. And now we have you proudly standing at the traffic lights of Europe with a sponge in one hand and the bucket in the other, with your future in your own hands. Say thank you, Pixie Heads. Uh, without our help, you're doomed. We finally got to the, 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 the last green and we all had a, a putt uh, to win the fiver. Uh, Andy had a Beyonce. There was a fair bit of movement, but he fancied it nonetheless. Uh, Kevin had what you call the Rock Hudson in that it looked straight. And, and Brian had the Eddie Hobbs, the nasty little four-footer. our WISH children, our staff and our board, I would like to say a huge thank you to everyone in Maxall 
for their continued support. And as an ambassador of Make-A-Wish Foundation, it gives me a great pleasure and uh, opportunity to thank Maxall, of course, and all its customers and all its staff for raising so much money this year on behalf of Make-A-Wish Foundation. Yeah.